Hi, today we're going to do some macro photography. We're going to take this piece of a mammoth tooth carving. This is ivory from a mammoth tooth. Uh, and we're going to make this in a macro to look like this. Look over here on the screen. This is... We're doing this with some old and new gear, which we'll talk about. Okay, so let's take this little piece of ivory and put it over here and talk about the equipment here. Macro photography. The old, the new, this is the old part. We have here a, a, a Mamiya lens, it's a 140 macro lens. This lens in its time in the 80s rivaled the uh, Hasselblad, um, uh, Roliflex. They were, that's not how good this lens is. 400 bucks on eBay, amazing. But to be able to do that, first we need to have a tube, an extent because we're talking macro, and then the key part of all of this is a hot ply adapter. This adapter has two really important features for us. One of them is that these lenses don't have any focus. So we need to be able to go this backwards and forwards, bellows or sometimes it's called uh, helicoid or something like that. But anyway, let me show you what it looks like here. Spin this around. Here we have a vodka and we can do our focusing like this. All right, so let's put this back here at the center on our little Swiss Acre cube, which is one of the best pieces of equipment I've ever bought. I love it. All right, so as you can see here, this spins backwards and forwards. The advantage of this is that there is no focus breathing because the lenses are not moving inside. That's the aspect of this good. Then comes the next thing. This does not fit in completely into the picture because we're that close. So now we can do a shift. And here we are. We just open this down, shift down to the bottom. When we've got it right, all we need to do, open it up, take this around, spin this around like this, and off we are. Here we are, shooting the top part. Now when that top part's done, we just drop it down to the center and do another one. So now how do we shoot all these things? Well, the focus is going to be all the way in the back. We're going to zero in and focus on it. This is what I do here. I take this, put this so that the closest focus is right there. This is it. The top is in there. And now all we start doing is using a telephone. I use this because when we press the button, this shakes. And you can put it on a timer. That's one way of doing it. Or the other one is to use the Fuji uh, something recorder, cam recorder here. And it really links to my computer, my cameras uh, via Bluetooth, and we're off. So here I am. I just push this button here, and off take my first picture. Move this forward, take my next picture. Move this forward, wait for the shaking to stop, take another picture. Move forward and take another picture. And we do this the whole way through. Now, to light this up, because we're doing this, I've got these lights here. Now, when I turn these on, if you notice, it's horrible for the screen. So I've put this on side here to get that out of the way. So we can just put this on the top, get that out of the way. And now I have this clever little thing. These are rubbers which I use for uh, macro photography a lot, because you can bend them into a parabolic shape, which then reflects the light better when you are doing a macro, and that's how that's set up. So we can now turn the light on, and off we go, and now we shoot all the pictures like that. Let's not bother with this. Let's assume we've done that, and we go over now to the screen. All right, here at the screen, let's go and find our pictures. They're all here. I've downloaded them. I can switch this off too. We don't need that. All right, so right at the top here, now we select the first one, and then we go to the last one here, all right? So these are all the ones which we selected. Uh, don't know how many they are, but they're quite a few. They'll vary. And uh, let me tell, like there's, uh, we did 170 something images. These are 61 pictures we shot. We just take this, go right mouse click. Let's go to export and we export it in Halicon. Halicon Focus. Now it's important, this is in a TIFF. It sets TIFF up, but what we're going to do is do it in DNG. DNG all the way through, as long as we can keep it that way. We hit OK, and off it goes. Now it's being, a, here it is, already imported. This is the, uh, one of the images, it hasn't been stacked yet. 
and here we are, this is the stacked version. When we stack them, we use method C, I find. If you, if you mouse over these, you can see the names will change and tell you for the different functions. This one here says it's good for intersecting objects in deep stacks. We're doing a deep stack, so that's what we do. We hit go, save it, and off we are. We've saved this image and it's going to show up in Lightroom as I finished as, as these images here. Now let me show you, I cheated a little bit. Uh, I had these two pictures here. I shot them both with one I shot with and one I shot without. You see this is pretty horrible with the uh, black uh, surface which I had to use for the camera. But when I took it out I reshot it and this is what it looked like. So these are the ones we're, which we're going to use. This one here and then there are two other ones top. We take those three here like this, the sections, and all we do is just ask it to produce a, um, a, a merge of a panel merge. And there it is, it's already panel merged. Where we go, we said okay, we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to go straight into it and look at the image which is done, which is okay. There it is. This is from this little guy here, hidden somewhere behind here. We've produced this. I mean, look at the face of this guy. That's pretty amazing. Now, I have little things here which I'd love to ask. You see these little green, blue, and sometimes red? There they are, red. I don't know where they come from. If anybody knows where they come from, uh, please let me know, because we, we get rid of them, but I would be curious to find out if anybody knows. All right? Anyway, having fun at the office during lockdown. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. <laughs>